What in the world could possibly be better than RuneScape? RuneScape and Pokemon. It has just come to my attention that there's actually going to be a Pokescape game, and today we're going to have a quick look at uh, what this game is all about, who's making it, uh, the progress so far, and having a look at the two different games that are actually being developed. The one that's been in development the longest is going to be a Pokemon Leaf Green or Fire Red remake, I believe. However, there seems to be another one for Game Boy Color, but that one's only been in development for maybe a couple months. These are going to be ROM hack games, so they're going to be taking the original Pokemon Fire Red game and changing it all with unique assets. There are going to be completely new sprites, completely new soundtrack, completely new move pools, completely new NPCs, everything's getting redone, it looks awesome. Before I get into it, I'm going to leave a link to their Twitter as well as uh, their Discord, definitely go follow them. This is not a sponsored video in any way, I just really like the idea of it, and I really want them to complete it so I can try it out. Anyway, let's get started. So like I said, there are two versions of the game in development right now. One for Pokemon Fire Red and one looks like for maybe Pokemon Silver. The version for Pokemon Fire Red has been in development now for like two years it looks like. It's gone back a long time. So we're going to start off by talking about the Fire Red one just because it's been in development longer. It is being developed by a guy called Demon Hedge. His Twitter is full of different assets he's working on, different sprites, different map layouts. It seems like the music is being written by a YouTube channel called RuneScape Reorchestrated, which I will also leave a link in the description for his YouTube channel. So for the most part, the Pokescape game seems to take place in the free-to-play version of RuneScape. Now this ROM hack is based off of both games and it seems to lean a bit towards RS3. You can see jokes about the mining and smithing rework, however we also see a bunch of familiar towns like Draenor, the Wizard's Tower, Lumbridge, and Miller. So the game is going to play just pretty much like a regular Pokemon game, except instead of fighting Pokemons, you're going to fight Rune Mons. You can see here there is actually a ton of them. Apparently there's over 150 of them. Some of these you may recognize and some of them not. Here you can see Cerberus is now a Pokemon Rune Mon. You can fight a Trout, lol, Swordfish, the Evil Chicken, a Scorpion, a Cockatrice, or a Hellhound. There's an absolute insane amount of work put into this. Each sprite has four different versions based on what part of the battle animation you're in. So on top of there being all brand new Pokemon, there's also all brand new maps. We have areas like for the Tazar. All the Poke Centers I'm imagining are going to look like banks because we can see here there's an entire bank area designed. There's all new custom interfaces. We can see here that the special attack, attack, special defense, and whatnot stats have been replaced with melee magic ranged defense and speed so that's awesome i'm really interested to see what the skill section is here because i'm not really sure how that would apply in game but maybe there's completely custom gameplay for this i don't know and we even have a custom elite four or in this case it seems like the elite five just the amount of work alone that went into these sprites is completely insane so i think eventually you'd be able to play this on your game boy advance because it seems like the creator is loading it onto his game boy advance however you may need a hacked cartridge or a way to load it on there or the other alternative is of course just playing it on an emulator, which would probably work just as well. So a lot of people seem to be a bit worried about uh, the possible takedowns that both, uh, well, Jagex and the Pokemon Company could do. Now, with both of them, I'd be much more worried about uh, the Pokemon Company or Nintendo. It actually seems like there was a tweet, granted back in 2016, where RuneScape is kind of endorsing it by linking it on their Twitter. So I don't think uh, Jagex would ever care about something like this, unless maybe it was for sale, but it's all going to be free and just kind of a passion project. However, you never know with Nintendo. I really doubt that they would find out or care about something so small, but they are extremely draconian when it comes to other people using their content or assets. So when I was doing a little research for this video, I, I discovered that the YouTube channel RuneScape Reorchestrated is actually making their own version of a Pokescape Rune Hack, and that's for Game Boy Color. So as far as I'm aware, the development for this started maybe two months ago at most. And there's actually some really cool videos on his YouTube channel. Now the thing I like about this the most right now is the music. He's actually reorchestrated um, some of the classic RuneScape songs into a MIDI like 8-bit version of it. They would fit into RuneScape Gold or Silver. So definitely go check out his YouTube channel. There isn't much on it yet, but you can see him walking around Varrock and Lumbridge, and you can see some of the classic buildings and, and the general layout of Gilnor is starting to take shape along with some awesome 8-bit music. Anyway guys, that is it. I really hope that these projects get finished soon. I'd love to do a video of me playing through um, the Pokescape game. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed. Again, definitely go check out the YouTube channel, the Twitter page, and the Discord, and show them some support. So hopefully this project will be finished soon. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.